Hey what is up guys, it's Casey here, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an easy Roblox thumbnail, so let's get right into the video. So first up, go to photopia.com, it's just a website, it doesn't cost, uh, virus free, it's very good. Um, then we're going to search up YouTube thumbnail size. Okay, once we got that, we're just going to click on this image and make sure it has like these numbers, right click, copy image. Go back to Photopea and hit Control V. Okay, now go to the rectangle select. You're gonna click and hold it down across all of this blue. And once you got it like that, you're going to release. And you should see like these cut looking lines or whatever. And then hit Control X. And then it should look like that. So after that, just click somewhere to get rid of those lines. Go back to the cursor. After that, what we want to do is start making the thumbnail itself, which I got to think of what kind of thumbnail I want to make. Okay, we're going to make like a crown of O's thumbnail, which there are a series on Roblox, which just came out. So I'm going to search up what I want to put in there. Okay, so I'm going to go to images. And then I'm going to click on this. And make sure when you actually click on it, um, you see these like checkered lines behind it. Because if not, they'll have like a white background and it'll look bad. So make sure it'll look white. Like you won't see the checkers before you click on it. But when you click on it. They should turn they should turn into a uh, checker. So if you don't say say you want to like remove color from something, I don't know what this is, but I'm just gonna drag this in. I just hit control V. But so I'm gonna go up to select and then color range and then click the color that I want removed. So like there's this isn't really a solid color for the background. Um, but like say if I wanted to remove the blue on his body, I could. Um, so we're going to talk a little more about that, like removing colors from something. But uh, yeah, let's get one of those crowns. Okay, so right click, copy image. Okay, go back to Photopea, hit Control V. And go up to your mouse and you should be able to drag it and stuff. Okay, now for um if you want to rotate it or something, go up to edit, go to transform, then there's scale and rotate. So if I wanted to make this big, I'll just go like that. Um, but I don't want to make it big. I think that's a pretty good size right there, actually. But what I do want to do is I do want to rotate it a little. Not too much, but okay, I think that's good. Okay, then we're going to just get a couple other rounds. It doesn't really matter which ones because this is just an example. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to choose a background. Um, Really just choose whatever you want. I mean, it, it really doesn't matter. Okay, I think I like this one pretty good. So we're going to just right click on it. Go to copy image and control V. Now it might be covering this whole thing. um, But that's okay. But also I noticed that this was a big photo. So it like took up all the like it's it's enlarged a lot so i'm going to scale it down until it fits into the square if that makes sense let's do that okay there we go okay now it's probably covering the whole thing and if it's not you can just scale it to where it is because you that's what you want okay now over here you want to drag this layer three it might not be called layer three for you but just whatever it is, put it all the way back. Now we're going to want these to maybe like pop out a little more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select on one over here. 
and then I'm going to go up to layer, then go up to layer style, then I'm hit on out, outer glow. And you should notice there's like a little glow now. I'm going to change this to all the way white. You can change the size. Okay, now we're going to do this for every single one of them. But yeah, it's starting to come along pretty good now. Now we're going to put some text. So we're going to click on text. Then hit. Then type in like. How to get these crowns, I guess. I don't know. Like I said, this isn't for a video. So once you have this, you're going to select it all. Just drag it. And you can choose a color. I'm going to choose white. And then if you want to change the font, which I recommend, you can go up here and just explore. There's a lot of them. But one of my personal favorites is Erica 1. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, that right there. And we're going to size this. Okay, now we're going to put an uh, outer glow on these two. I don't want this too big though. Okay, I'm gonna make this a little shorter because I think it looks a little too tall. Yeah, we're pretty much almost done. Okay, now we're gonna search up its action lines, P and G. Just go to the first one. Oh, copy image and control V. Okay, now this is kind of an extra, you don't have to do it, but okay. Now after that, we're gonna go up to select color range. Click on the black, um, click on how much you want to like remove of this black. Um, okay, so we're just going to do 200 because we want it all the way removed. Okay, then that should be removed. Then I'm going to drag this all the way below all these crowns and stuff. They might look better black, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, those look pretty good. Okay, I'm not sure about this text though. That looks kind of cool. I don't know. Um, like I said, you can just explore with the text. There is a lot. Also, what you can do is you can select this like on here and then control. You can like copy it with the rectangle select. Um, then you can drag it under. And then you can make like kind of a 3D. Here, let me change the color. You see what I'm doing? Like, now there's... You see black lines. It, it looks hard at first, but it's really not that hard. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. We're almost to 15,000 subscribers, so thank you so much. And yeah, also to export this, um, just go up to File and Export as PNG. And there you go save and yeah um but yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you next video goodbye